Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Riser Dawn here today, guys. I'm gonna be teaching you the perfect ship build, or at least what I use, and it's good for almost every scenario. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today, and yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, guys. Uh, so my ship build, I will show you step by step. Um, all right. So starting off with the hull armor, I put the warship scroll on my archaic hull. And it makes the defense tremendously high. It does lower the speed, but only by a little bit, by 8. Which is not really that big of a difference. And you get huge buffs from the Warship Scroll anyway. So, uh, you get 25 stability, which is super important for the Dark Sea. And 25% actually raises it perfectly to 100 stability. So, that's essentially all you need for 100% stability for the Dark Sea. And it's really good. It also gives an increase in ram strength. Of uh, ram defense and turning now ram defense is really good for fighting those brigs in the dark sea because those brigs also have rams and when they chase you like when you're on an island and they just randomly spawn they're gonna just ram your ship uh, as soon as they spawn and they start chasing so that's really good uh, for that instance turning is just really good in general uh, it just makes the turning faster so you can fight better more easily uh, defense obviously is super high um, and then ram strength is really good for offensive combat as you guys can see the stability is really good uh, the defense is tremendously high I would recommend getting at least 20,000 in durability if you want to go into the dark sea uh, and not having to worry about your ship's HP at all uh, you won't have to like fix it that often and another trick that I will tell you guys is that uh, if you guys don't want to fix up your boat every time it gets damaged, just wait for like an NPC ship to spawn and just fight that ship. Uh, and if you're doing it solo and you know you can't beat the people on the ship, just don't fight like the people on the ship. Just break the boat and run. Um, as for turning, as you can see, 64 turning, pretty good. 67 speed, not that high, but I'm going to put more parts on the ship so it's going to raise. Uh, 65 resilience, really good for when the ship is sailing against the wind. And then, of course, ram strength and ram defense is really good. Um, and, of course, all these are going to raise when I put more uh, parts on the ship. So, uh, next is the firepower, the cannons. I put the enhanced scroll on my dragonfire carronades because it increases the range by a crap ton. And the damage, I believe, also increases. I'm not too sure. I think the damage is the same, actually. But the range multiplier increases by a lot, so that means you can stand... Or your ship can be a lot farther away from the enemy ship and still fire on them. And that gives you a great advantage because you'll be able to fire on them, but the enemy ship probably won't be able to fire on you. So you can stay from a good distance away and just keep destroying the enemy ship. Um, again, it's really good for the Dark Sea because you, you don't have to be close at all. And it might uh, actually avoid you proccing the enemy's aggro. So you could stay like a good distance away. Um, I would recommend using the heavy exploding shells when you're fighting against those dark sea ships. Uh, this does like the most damage I believe. Yeah, this does a great amount of damage and it pairs really well with the cannons. Next is uh, my sailcloth, or my sail material. So I put the brisk enchantment on my archaic sailcloth because uh, it gives the second most speed and if I put the warship on it. It only gives 10 more speed at the cost of a ton of defense loss. So that's why I just put the defense on my hull. And then I put the brisk enchantment on my sailcloth. Um, so, yeah, really good. And then next, sail patterns. Obviously, you can put anything that you want. I like to put something that, you know, that's new, isn't too old looking. And uh, yeah, just overall, something that I like the aesthetic of. I think I'll choose, uh, I think I'll just choose this one, the Ancient Compass, pretty nice. Next is the Ram, so I put the Brisk Enchantment on my Hammerhead Ram. The Hammerhead Ram is really good, even though it's not like the lesser uh, Magic Rams. Uh, I think this is like the best one, to be honest, because it has the most, uh, well, the ramming speed is increased by the brisk, but yeah, I put brisk on my ramming speed because if you increase the ramming speed, I believe it, that also increases the damage multiplier uh, because your ship's going to be like faster and when it rams the enemy, it's going to increase the damage by a lot more. So 
yeah brisk enchantment really good also adds defense unlike uh it gives more defense than the lesser uh elemental rams so yeah it's really good uh attachments honestly i don't put any attachments but you can put whatever you want uh, it doesn't really matter uh next is the crew obviously you want to have your edward kenton as uh as one of them in Enizor. and you want to preferably have both of them upgraded to the max but it's okay if you don't just having both of those is really nice i like to put him on the right side because i uh, i believe he sits like or stands right next to where my ship is and that's really good for when i'm unloading i just have to get off the wheel and talk to him and he'll unload for me so yeah and then for my crew i like to have the sailors because it gives the most resilience and that's really good for when i'm sailing against the wind it doesn't slow me down as much for the figurehead uh honestly again cosmetic you can put anything you want but i'm gonna put the rugged dragon figurehead and then for the lanterns also whatever you want i should probably get this uh unlocked but yeah i just put that for now but also for the siege weapon i believe it shows up here i have the archaic mortars but honestly they're not really that good right now so and they decrease my speed by five so i have them off right now but honestly if you want to have mortars they're they're okay most of the time you'll be fighting with your uh cannons in your ram so the mortars doesn't it doesn't really matter honestly it doesn't even provide that much offensive utility but yeah that's what i like um this is my ship build overall guys another thing that you can do is uh if you have like a warship sailcloth i guess you can like experiment with that it gives 10 more speed so 36 speed instead of 26 and it gives you uh over 100 speed if you want to do that and then for the archaic hole you could put like an armored scroll on it it'll give you like a thousand less defense and it won't decrease it won't give you negative eight speed it'll give you just i believe two speed or something like that so you'll have like over a hundred speed but your durability will be like seventeen thousand. so i guess you guys can like mix and match i think it, it won't give you a hundred stability it'll give you like a little less but yeah like i said before it's all up to you guys what your preference is when i'm out of the dark sea actually i prefer the archaic a uh, warship sailcloth with the armored archaic hull but when i'm in the dark sea i prefer more durability because obviously you're gonna uh take more damage in the dark sea and when you're fighting other brigs or other ships you're gonna be taking more damage uh and honestly worrying about durability is uh the most important thing in the dark sea so yeah guys that's my build my ship build i hope you guys enjoyed this video today let me know not let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.